Hey, Enrique Rodriguez here. And today, I'm going to be showing you all a simple EOS wallet. I know there's been a lot of questions out there on how to stake your tokens, how to unstake them, how to get your wallet, you know, unfrozen from Exodus. And so, kind of just wanted to show you all this interface that we found. One of the block producers for EOS uh, that has a wallet interface and allows you to essentially transfer your EOS wallet from Exodus over to the new EOS wallet. So very, very nice interface here. Uh, but whenever you get here, you're gonna come to Simple EOS. And obviously whatever operating system you're running on, that's what you're gonna download. I'm on Mac, so I've already done it. I'm gonna show you all here shortly. Uh, it kind of just shows all the features of the wallet. You know, you can do the, trans the token transfer, you have contacts on here, uh, multiple accounts, new accounts, local storage, uh, you can transfer your Exodus account over. You can stake and unstake tokens to kind of earn, um, you know, those those airdrops and those rewards and vote on, um, you know, block producers, get the transaction history from the blockchain, and then, you know, furthermore with the airdrops. It's a really awesome wallet, you know, and so just kind of scrolling down, give you a gallery and everything, very nice interface. Um, this is a very, very intelligent group out of Rio de Janeiro. And so... We're just going to skip the whole download part because I already have it downloaded. And let's see, let's minimize that, bring up the simple EOS wallet. And this is what the interface looks like. You can see all your tokens over here. So you can see that I've been dropped some Everpedia tokens, some IQ over here. It's not bad, you know, free 13 bucks. Same thing over here with a, a few of these other tokens. Um, just like any other wallet interface, you know, you're going to have your, um, your wallet history, which a, a lot of these... Um, I didn't really do that. Some of them are airdrops, as you can see. Um, you can see yesterday I just unstaked all of the tokens. So the amount of tokens you had at the mainnet swap, if you haven't done anything with them, they automatically stake half of them for just like CPU and RAM. Uh, and so I had to go in and unstake those tokens, which I'll show you how to do. Uh, but let's come down here to... Well, first off, let me back up a little bit. If you are using your Exodus wallet, what you're going to have to do is go, um, let me just show you real quick. So you're going to have to go to your Exodus wallet, and even though it sounds risky, something that we never suggest you do, you will have to export your private keys from the EOS mainnet. And you do that like this. Let me show you real quick. It would load. Let's see. So you can see I don't hold very many assets in here, most of which is EOS. Uh, which, by the way, the new Exodus interface is beautiful. Uh, but to export your keys, you essentially come up here to Exodus on Mac, uh, on Microsoft. You know, it's going to be, you know, same. You're going to drop down Exodus and then file on the top left. Developer, Assets, EOS Mainnet, View Private Keys. Once you do that, it's going to give you a file that you download. It's going to be an Excel sheet. You're going to copy that private key. You're going to go to Import Wallet over here. Obviously, you can't see it on here, but there will be an option. If that's what you're looking for. You just put that private key in, and it automatically syncs up your account and brings you to this interface, which I'm showing you now. You can add account. You can create a new account. There's some settings over here that allow you to do a few different things. You can change your passwords, a lock screen pin. Um, let's just go back over here to history. So you can see you know, all that, refresh, all that good stuff. You can send tokens. As you can see... Um, this is me right here, Lord Vader. I only have one friend at the time, Han Solo. Uh, it's a different world. So we can send the tokens. You can send your Everpedia, all that good stuff. Just pick an amount, who to send it to. You can send the max and even send a memo. And then to vote, I thought this was extremely cool. So remember I told you earlier, if you didn't... Uh, right after the mainnet swap, they stake half your tokens. So if you want to unstake those and be able to move them, you have to come here. And so you can see that I've only staked one EOS because I want to have all this available to move some around. 
and that's essentially all you do. So if you want to stake all of them, you go all the way up here, and it's just as simple as just setting a new stake. It takes three days after you change this for it to actually happen, and that's just something that's laid out in the EOS Constitution. You can look at the block producers on organizational <coughs> location, <coughs> see where they're all located. EOS Rio, that's where we're using. So we're going to do that. Let's see. This is where you can vote on different block producers. So as you know, in EOS, they use del delegated proof of stake, which depends on 21 block producers to validate the transactions. And there are a lot of them, um, pages on pages. And so only the top tw 21 are going to be the actual wallet producers. Everyone else is on standby. And you can see you know, the amount of total votes that everyone has. Start EOS is number one in China. We've got Tokyo, Japan. Beijing, Hong Kong, Cayman Islands. Huh, that's pretty interesting. But, you know, you just go over here to vote. Obviously, you have to have some EOS to um, to vote. But just wanted to give you all a brief overview of one of the EOS wallets that I really enjoy. I know it's been a struggle trying to, to move any EOS tokens from, from wallets that, you know, it may be frozen in. And so, yeah, let us know if you have any questions. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, and drop some feedback. We love to know more videos that we could create for you all um, to just get some great content out there.